Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and it is a little later in the day than normal but it is finally time for the new sheet load of cards. I hope you'll stick around, find out what makes this month's issue special, see my first set of cards and then I'll tell you how you can download it for free if you're a subscriber to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel and you're going to be interested in downloading the free printable for yourself, make sure to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap on that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. It is the first of the month, which means it is time for a brand new sheet load of cards. And I'm super excited about this month. I have had a few of you contact me asking, hey, I have all this 6x6 pattern paper. Are you ever going to do a 6x6 edition? Well, this is your lucky month. This month's sheet load of cards features 6x6 pattern papers. But don't worry, if you don't have a lot of 6x6 paper, just cut down a couple pieces of your 12x12. If you're new to sheet load of cards and you're wondering what the big deal is about 6x6 paper, let me tell you a little bit about my free printable that I give out each month here on my YouTube channel. I stop by with a free two page printable. On the first page is a sketch and supply list and the second page is the cutting guides. I give you a sketch each month and I list what supplies you need to make a sheet load of cards. That is usually anywhere from six to 12 and this month it is six cards. To create those six cards, you will need six six by six pattern papers, two eight and a half by 11 pieces of cardstock, and then three additional eight and a half by 11 pieces of cardstock for your card bases. Now this month I do give you an idea if you wanna put some kind of die cut here, that is up to you. Now if you like the sketch, but you're like, I have no need for six cards, I also give the dimensions if you want to make a single card right here. I also like to give some alternatives or other ways you can use the sketch. For instance, adjusting the size of these pieces for your sentiment or image. And actually when I show you this month's card set, you will see that I did do that for some of my cards. You can always rotate the sketch if you think it looks better that way. Add embellishments, add die cuts, add enamel dots. And I also like to sometimes adhere layers with foam tape just to give a little bit of extra dimension to my card. I also want to point out that up here at the top, if you use the sheet load of cards to make a set of cards or even one, I would love it if you would use the provided hashtags either here on YouTube or over on Instagram so I can come check out what you have made with the sheet load of cards. Page two will give your cutting diagrams for this month, and you will notice that the cutting diagram is a little bit bigger since it's six by six paper. Just make sure to follow this for each piece. You'll also need a couple pieces of card stock. One will be the mat for your pattern paper strip, and then one will be the white card stock for your sentiment. And like I mentioned, you can adjust this or the little strip down here to fit your needs. Before I show you some of the products that I use for this month's card and then show you my first set, I just want to remind you to come back tomorrow. I will have my process video here on my YouTube channel and all of my collaborators will be joining me with their first sets of cards for August 2020. I will tell you tomorrow a little bit more about the supplies I use this month, but I just wanted to stop real quick and show you what I used. For my sentiments on this month's card, I heat emboss them in detail gold embossing powder and I used various sentiments from Sweet and Sassy Stamps Be Encouraged stamp sets. I do have number one and number two. They are just great faith-based sentiments and I actually made this card set with a friend in mind to give it to her to use.
For my papers, I pulled out this 6x6 six six pad. I got this at Tuesday morning. I'm so sad that they're going out of business. It is by Jen Hadfield and it's called My Bright Life. It has lots of fun small prints and some gold foiling on it. That is also why I use the detail gold on all of my sentiments. For an added embellishment, I did use these little leaf die cuts on some of the pattern papers from the card. And tomorrow I'm going to show you that even though you don't have this much of a piece of pattern paper left, you can still die cut these from your pattern paper to use on your cards. Are you ready to see this month's card set? I'm not sure if you noticed during the card flip through, but here's one of the cards where I adjusted the sentiment block. Instead of making it three inches wide, I made mine three and a half inches wide. That way I still had a little space for some die cut embellishments over there. Another thing you could do is if you wanted to use an image here instead of a sentiment, but your image was taller, all you need to do is cut your CS2 to a higher size. Like instead of cutting it two inches tall, you could cut it three inches tall. That's one of the great things about sheet load is you can make it work for you. I almost forgot that I need to tell you how to download this month's file. As always, I do ask that you're a subscriber to my channel. We're just going to go on the honor system here as always. Please make sure before you hit download or print on the file that you've also clicked subscribe on that button below. I have a link to a PDF file all the way at the bottom of my description box below. All you have to do is click on that and then you can open it and view it on screen while you craft or you can go ahead and print that off. Now just because I have printed mine in color, if all you have is a black and white printer, you can go ahead and print it on that as well and it will work just fine for you. I hope you enjoyed getting to see my first set of cards that I made this month. If you did, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up and I also hope that you'll come back tomorrow to see how I made this card set. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.